Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today I thought it would be fun <laughs> to take a peek at what it means when Etsy says they're going to give priority placement to free shipping shops. And I have a bunch of different, I'm going to go into two of my different Etsy shops, and then I have a bunch of different browsers that I could use. And I wanted to see kind of what's going on with different things. Um, and so I just thought this would be interesting to do. So this is gold necklace, um, which is a very generic search term, right? And what I find interesting is that you have your ads. So for, personally, it would be cost prohibitive for me to do my, to do free shipping on my um, vintage products because they're so um, disparate in the size and the weight and things like that and I don't have that built into my pricing model so I am not going to be doing free shipping but this tells me that I could totally do um, use some of the money that I would have used for that on priority so if we look at this the first row of um, ads is it seems like they're giving priority to free shipping. And then the first row of results is free shipping. Then we have, okay. And the other thing we wanna think about is that $35 cutoff, right? So this is not free shipping, it's under $35. Now, if I was them, honestly, I would raise that price to $35. And then offer, or, you know, I, I think I clicked on this and it said um, it was $6 from Greece to my house. So $6.92, $7 effectively, right? So if I was them, I would raise the price of this $7 and um, make it free shipping. But because it's a bestseller, I think they're, Etsy is not going to cut off its nose to spite its face. It's not going to start randomly listing free shipping things that in the past haven't sold it's going to be you know selling things that are sellable um but after that first part of free shipping then you have your free shipping eligibles and i just seen that one right there so that means this 29 dollars item if you buy 35 dollars then you're going to be able to get that this has no free shipping and this is an ad so we're in the second row of ads right okay so that's on my my uh digital products one let's go over to my um vintage products one and let's do gold necklace let's try to do a little bit of searching around apples to apples oh so get a few more listings on here I have it very large sometimes because I'm getting old and I can't see too well. So these ads are in a different order for sure. We have our free shipping. Our free shipping eligible moved up. So the order that people are seeing things are definitely going to be different no matter what. Um, and on this account, the ad is still not free shipping, but everything is free shipping, free eligible free shipping. Then we have the best sellers that do not have free shipping. And then we, oh, then we have free sellers and eligible. So if you're selling a commodity product like gold necklaces, I would say that you really need to think about um, offering free shipping. So let's go to Etsy on a browser that I don't use. Um, this is Firefox. So let's look up gold necklace and see what's going on. So we have that, that the ads are moving around quite a bit. Everything is free shipping or free shipping eligible, which they said was going to be a thing. All free shipping, all free shipping or free shipping eligible. All right, so on this one, and then they have, like I said, the best sellers that don't have free shipping. So that's interesting. All right, let's go to something. So um, uh, I'm gonna do printable planner, which is a 
none of them are free shipping, right? I just want to see what's happening with that. Then you're like right in the normal bestsellers. Things that are bestsellers are going to be showing up higher after the ads because this first row is the ads and then we start to see a bunch of the bestsellers. Okay, so now let's look for something vintage like um, uh, let's say a vintage doorstop chicken. Now let's so the, the, the thing is, once we get really down in the weeds with the vintage, then we don't have, um, okay, so ads, we have two free shipping, no, oh, that's really cute and expensive. Okay, so it does look like they're giving priority to free shipping and free shipping eligible. So this is where it really makes me sad in my heart. Okay, no matter how big this doorstop is, it's over a pound, right? So this doorstop at free shipping and 25% off at $13, it's going to cost them a minimum of $8 to ship. So they are making, not counting the Etsy cost, um, you know, what they'll be charged for, um, for the, the processing and the seller's fees and things like that, at the most they can make $5 and then you take the rest of that off. So I think people are making bad decisions based on fear um, and that to me is just not sustainable. Like this one is free shipping eligible. Let's talk a wee minute about this idea that if you sell more, without compensating for the free shipping, that that will somehow offset the cost of having to ship yourself. Okay, so one of my favorite sites on the internet years ago was pets.com, and they were amazing, and they didn't charge shipping, and they counted on the fact that you ordered more and more and more. So let's talk about that, that chicken um, doorstopper. I guess it was a bunny, right? So that person has now taken, they were $17, then they reduced it to 15, 13, and then they offered free shipping. So their, their gross profit, not their net, their gross profit would be about $5 after they pay for shipping, right? And the thought is that because you're offering free shipping, you can sell more products, especially if you're doing the combined shipping to $35, right? The problem is that you need to be very aware of your own shop and its profit margins. And if you're going to be offering free shipping, you need to make sure that you will still have the profit margins in order to be able to stay in business. That is how business works. And Pets.com went out of business because they could not sustain razor thin margins just to get more customers, you know, in the e-commerce business, in the Amazon business, they're collecting your email address and then they're, you know, they're doing a lot of hardcore stuff. And Etsy does do a good job with their emails, I feel like. But, you know, the, the thought of Etsy is that we're handmade goods or we're people who are vintage and we leave our houses and we go and source vintage and then we clean it up and then we list it and we store it for whatever amount of time and then we package it very carefully and then we ship it and all those things do have value when it comes to shipping so um let's do something a little bit more um let's see uh what would i buy oh storage boxes right because those are going to be you're going to be a little wiggly today i'm sorry because i have to type and you're up on a box Okay, storage boxes. So we have free shipping, free shipping. These are all 149, 157. Okay, we're going to also check something. So the zoo stuff, I want to find a bestseller. If we can find it, I don't know if they can say bestseller and free shipping at the same time. So I want something here that is 
free ship. So this is free shipping eligible. Gosh, they're going to take, they're going to take a, okay, bathroom toilet storage box. So we're going to look at this box. It is a bestseller. Yay. That's what I was looking for. We're going to take this listing and we're going to go over to Flipper Tools, which will tell us what the prices are for sold items. Okay. So we have to go into their sales. So we're going to go into their Marlboro sales. We want to go into their, they don't have their sales open. Let's see if we can find out what the sold price is. sold price. $39.95. So plus shipping. Okay. So these guys have literally said they're going to just take, because that, that thing that sits on the back of the toilet box, they're going to take the money out of their profits. Right. You know, for real, if you ship small items that are not heavy, that dimensional weight isn't hurting you, then for sure it looks like the free shipping is a thing, right? So, although it's not that much of a thing on this, free shipping, free shipping eligible. So we get down to these guys. Yep, these are ads. And then it's all free shipping until we get to some more ads. And then we're down to here. So it's still part first page, but let's do the organic, not the, um, not counting the ads. So four, oh gosh, I'm going to have to do math. Four, eight, 12. Sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. So 25, and that is a very competitive category. We went with a really high level of storage boxes, and you're st they would still be on the first page. And as we can see, this one person is just taking it from their, um, from their profits, right? And so that is just something that each shop owner is going to have to think of doing. I did do a whole video about how to decide whether or not you should be offering free shipping on your items. I will make sure to link to that below. But for the short term, I think this just reinforces my opinion that as a business model, I'm not going to be able to offer it on my products. And I'm just going to have to do things like increase my Pinterest effort, increase my... Um, you know, email efforts, things like that, in order to be able to uh, counteract the fact that I may not show up as high in search for because I don't have free shipping. So hopefully that analysis helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.